Hi, my name is Kim. I'm going to tell you a story. It's called The Tree at the Crossroads. There was once a generous man who had fallen on hard times and all he had left was a little run-down house at the crossroads. And in front of the house was a tree that no longer bore fruit. One night, the man had a dream. A strange dream in which a little green man, all dressed in green, appeared to him and said, Go to the king's county, go to the king's bridge, upon that bridge you'll find your treasure. When the man woke in the morning, he thought it a bit strange and dismissed the dream. But he had the same dream the next night. And when he had the dream on the third night, he thought, I must do something about this. So he put on his old shoes that had more holes than soles, pulled his tattered threadbare jacket around his shoulders and set off. And when he came to the bridge, he looked high and low in every nook and cranny. He walked back and forward looking carefully, but he saw nothing. He went under the bridge, still nothing. And he thought, well, before I go home, I'll have one last look. And he crossed the bridge one more time. And by now his strange behavior had caught the attention of the king's guards. And they arrested him for vagrancy and took him to the captain of the guards for interrogation. When the captain of the guards heard that the man had come all this way, based on a dream, he laughed at him. Oh, what a fool you are. Go back where you came from, and, and if I see you again, I'll have you locked up. <sighs> Dreams, take no notice of them. I've had a dream many a year that I'm in the country somewhere at a crossroads and there's a tree that looks half dead and I'm digging under it and I find a little wooden chest of treasure. Well, as if that would happen. Here am I, captain of the King's Guards. I wouldn't leave my station on such a dream. Now be gone. Well, the man went home and knelt beside his tree and began to dig and scrape and scratch away the soil and stones. And last, he felt something a little bit hard. Could this be the treasure chest? It was, and as he pulled it out from the soil, the tree gave a little shudder and leaves and blossoms suddenly appeared. And once he lifted the lid of that little wooden chest, he saw enough gold pieces in there to last him for his whole life and become truly generous again. Snip, snap, snout, my tail is told out.